How's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. Ah, we just uh, got back from our lunch break and we need to make a trip to the dealership so that we can get on with mowing this because it's going to take an absolute age with our current mower. Where's the tractor? We'll see, last episode we got this one finished off and completed. So let's get this gate shut. The gate triggers are really quite weird. Oh, there it was. Uh, there. Beat the gate. So let's get hooked up to the tractor. We also need to get... Uh, we're going to ask if they, we can rent a silo compactor. Now we haven't got a lot of hours left in the day, so we need to try and get this done as quickly as possible so I don't have to pay for rental the next day so let's head off to the dealership and get our new rental mower uh, if that line that you keep seeing is annoying uh, there's not a lot I can do about it it just seems to be an issue with the map so I'll see you when I get to the dealership and we can check out this new mower and here we are at the dealership and there is the mower that we have rented uh, quite a large deposit was paid um, they did say they'll do me a deal because we we're only having it for a very short amount of time so I think we've only got to pay the maintenance on it which is nice, so let's get that back to the farm. We should just about be all right to run it. Excuse me, it's, it's not like you can't really see me, is it? I'm in a big tractor, or on a big tractor, on a big tractor. Watch out for the fuzz. So let's get this back to the farm and get the big field all mowed up. And then we can windrow it, pick it all up, move it and get on with compacting the silo and with cultivating or ploughing that field up. One way or the other we need to do it. Let's just, I don't get lost on the way here so hopefully I don't get lost on the way back. So we've got a lot to do this episode. We want to go right, left, left, and then right straight away. And up this narrow little way. Well, oh, it's quite tight with the mower. I mean, it's tight enough with the tractor. Nice little house there. bloody people. I do try not to run people over <laughs> but it's not always that easy. So I think we'll enter through the bottom gate as well which will allow us to just go straight up the hill. <coughs> this should get this field done nice and quickly hopefully before it's dark it's a lot of space on that field to get done and we have pretty much done the headland as well so that is fantastic and I left the gate open the turning circle is not the uh, best on this tractor it is really quite difficult to get in and out of spots especially tight spots Just back it up so we can get into the field probably should have entered from the other side so let's get that unfolded drop it down get it on and let's get to mowing some more just for a change 
Um, so we'll put a time lapse in here and I'll see you just afterwards. then so that is that field done we need a quick rush back to the dealership now to get this dropped off before they close at five o'clock so let's just hope we can get out of this gate nicely and I'll shut it when we get back to the yard Just turning the circle is absolutely shocking. Let's try to feed it up the track. There we go, I think that's enough. Are we out now? <coughs> Sorry, my throat is absolutely awful today. Right, so back to the dealership. Uh, we'll ask them about renting a silo compactor, but we won't need that till tomorrow. We've got a lot to do still in the main field, at the big field. And I was just having a thought whilst mowing, and when we come to putting crops in there, I think we'll break the field into two, so we can have a slightly smaller crop of something else in there, which will make... A big difference for us and there is a little paddock right at the top that I noticed which is going to be perfect for putting in some sheep so we definitely want to save up to be able to afford that as well there's quite a lot we need to buy still obviously we need a harvester but we can always rent one for our first go around they are extremely expensive to buy and we need this silage all put into the silo so that we can make some money back And then it's back to the farm and then I think that's going to be us for the day our first proper day farming here in Ireland hopefully the locals don't end up hating us too much we have quite a lot of money invested over here at the moment <coughs> Oh god, oh, that was lucky, I didn't realise there was a zebra crossing there and someone was crossing at the same time, but we have made it, and I think, is this the trigger? Okay, so how do we, do 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 do, there's one trigger there and there's another trigger just over there. I think we'll go to the main dealership one. 
think I'll get me some cough syrup from the local shop whilst I'm here. There it is. We just pack it in, drop it off, and whilst we're in town, we might as well fill up fill up with diesel as well whilst we're at it. So we can return this. And we got a little bit back, but not a huge deal. But that was the deal. We had to pay the maintenance and we only had it for two hours as well. So let's just fill up here. This tractor goes through obviously quite a lot of diesel, but it is old and it is a classic. And with nothing beats a classic. I know we have diesel at the yard, but we might as well make the most of it. Turn it off as well. Whilst it fills up. And I will go and get myself some cough medicine as well. Whilst I pay for the fuel. Ooh, hello, what are you? I think that's for methane biogas. Yeah, I don't think it runs on biogas. Nearly full. There we go. And I've got myself some cough syrup as well. So hopefully I can clear this cough off. <clears throat> So back to the farm, and I think we'll call it a day there. Uh, do we want... Oh, we'll go and get the truck and take it back to the house as well. Just so that that is all done. There's a lot of open gates around here. I'm surprised farmers don't like to keep their gates shut. I know I definitely do. And then tomorrow we can get the silo compacted and hopefully we can begin cultivating the big field or ploughing I'm not sure if we need to plough it or if, whether we need to we'll probably plough it anyway not my favourite job but there we go beggars cannot be choosers oh that nice little ride on mower there I've missed the turn in again too busy looking at a ride on mower to know where I need to head. So we're just back in there, but without getting on the grass. <coughs> we don't want to upset anybody. It seems like quite a closely knitted community around here. There's another tractor over there. Everyone has a lot new, more mud newer. A lot more modern equipment than I do. But at least we're all mowed up in our first day on the farm. It was definitely worth renting that mower. It would have taken an absolute age otherwise. And I think we'd still be mowing tomorrow. Might need to get down here and try and sort that hedge out as well. Taking up a little bit of space. The field looks uh, a lot different now <coughs> as well. Now that it's all been mowed up. remember to shut this gate there we go and there's that stupid line again it only seems to turn up when I approach the farm maybe it's a rendering problem <coughs> with the map but who knows so we'll just park up there jump into the pickup 
and head off home for the day. And then tomorrow, I'm pretty sure we've got to head back to the dealership to pick up a silo compactor once we have wind road and done all those lovely other wah, wonderful things this truck is awful i don't know why i ever brought it <clears throat> there must be better things that i can buy but it is practical nonetheless we can still put a bale in the back if we need to even though we don't have any bales we don't even have the facilities all the finances to even make bales at the moment. No, no, we struggle getting up this hill. As a matter of fact, we can't even get up the hill, so we just leave it there. We do own this road all the way up, so that is fine. So, I will see you all in the morning. Oh, good morning, everybody. Bright and early to get on with the next day. Ooh. All right, um, let's get turn around and get over to the yard and get the windrower out so that we can get this field tidied up a bit and then we can jump into the for jump into the forage wagon don't do that i don't recommend jumping in a forage wagon uh we can get the forage wagon attached and get on with getting that in the bunker silo <coughs> waiting for the dealership to get hold of me to see if they have any silo compactors that we can borrow for an hour or so just to get the silo done it saves a lot of running it over we can just get it done nice and quickly uh the truck i was thinking about considering putting it up for sale and um, really because well if i need to move bales for whatever reason I can buy a bale trailer if if I need to get to the dealership or to the local village we can just use the tractor it it's not really gonna make a huge difference to us being able to have a truck so I think that we might let the truck go uh, I don't know what it's worth either I need to uh, I know what I paid for it, <coughs> but uh, I don't know what somebody else will want to pay for it. But uh, once the dealership opens at about, I think they open at about 8 o'clock, I will give them a call and see what they say in regards to if they might be interested in it themselves so let's get the headland done as nicely as possible feels like we're going to roll over on this bank and let's get on with our second time lapse today and get all of this wind road up tidied up so ready for the forage wagon to get on with it and i definitely think we will be splitting this field in half or roughly in half we'll make things a little bit better just lift that up and there we go so if we come in with the forage wagon from the bottom we've got a nice clean run so onward time lapse <laughs>
And here we are, just finishing ooh, off at long last. It has taken quite some time, just over three hours. And I think I've uh, myself some breakfast. It's already been a very long morning. We just finished tidying this little bit up. And luckily, we're finishing right by the house as well. So let's get that folded up. And switch off. And we'll just hop over the hedge and have a quick bite to eat. Whew. Oh, love me some Weetabix. Cool. So we're going to get back on the tractor just for a change and let's go and get the forage wagon and start moving some of this I'm going to take the truck down to the dealership as well uh, in a little while in fact we might do that next and get them to put a value on it really it's barely been used I literally brought it when we uh, came to Ireland and then moved here and essentially just haven't used it really since I mean I drove to the house with it yesterday that would drop that off and yeah so let's head to the dealership with the truck and see if one if they want it and two what it's actually worth I think I paid around about 30,000 for it, give or take a little bit, so as close to that as we can get would be ideal. Uh, it looks very good, the truck, it just doesn't drive that well and we have great difficulty getting it up the uh, hill by the house, so... It's not really all that suitable for us. And if we could trade this in and maybe walk away with another tractor, that would be fantastic. Oh, a bigger forage wagon, bigger mower. That, that green mower that we had on uh, hire yesterday, that would be ideal. But I will see you when... And this is why I don't like it. Hopefully that hasn't damaged it too badly. But I will see you when I get to the dealership. And we are back in the local area and I think we will oh, can it do it? yeah it can, one swing Ooh, a bit sideways and we will just pull up here and go and speak to somebody Oh, we have a lady on the dealership counter. Hiya, uh, I'd like to uh, look at getting rid of my pickup, please. Ah, that would be fantastic. So I'll I'll uh, I'll go with that deal, please. And um, there's a few more bits I, I need. I need a silo compactor. And what sort of tractors do you have available? So, after speaking to the lovely lady, they gave us £28,500 for the truck, which is great. I'm just going to wait around. Uh, she's, they've gone to uh, find out what equipment they have. So, good, cheap and fast. You can pick up, you can pick any two, good surface and cheap, 
it won't be fast, good service that's fast, it won't be cheap, fast service that's cheap, won't be good. Oh, well, nonetheless, cheap is, as long as you think it's cheap, something can only be, ooh, a toy again. We'll have one out, we like the toys, every little help. I'm not looking around for toys, I promise. Because there is none. Alright, let's see if they have any results for us. <laughs> Watch me spend loads of money now. Thank you so much. Um, please do let me know if you get any tractors that are sort of suitable for my current application. Cheers, bye bye. So, we have just brought a drill, a silo compactor, and a cultivator. So that should be everything that we need to get our large field sorted out. Obviously, we can compact the silo down now, and we can, well, finish off sorting out the large field. They did have a few tractors, and some of which were really quite tempting but it's a little bit out of our price range and I really don't particularly want to get finance so we've got quite a long walk back to the farm and I think that's going to be all for this episode really I've got probably a good half hour walk well this road is quite quite treacherous really you cross over there we go Maybe we just stick to walking along this grass verge. Oh, that's right, we can pop around that hedge. So, that's all from me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, although it's been quite boring, really, just doing more grass work. But next episode, we are definitely going to be looking at getting some crops in the ground hopefully it will get all that silage into the bunker i might do a little bit of that off camera just to try and make it a bit easier on you guys watching <laughs> nice farm up there apparently that would be nice when a farm where we could have uh, some animals of our own minus obviously we can get sheep but you know, if we could get sheep and cows, that would be ideal. So, I'll see you all in the next one.